Hello, my name is Joseph Carlson, and this is episode 267 of Gaming with Grief. And in this episode, I'm going to do another in memoriam review for the company Roll7. Uh, I'm specifically going to be talking about Roller Drum. Now, uh, if you like what you're listening to or seeing, if you're watching this on YouTube, please like and subscribe. If you're listening to the podcast, tell your friends and family to subscribe to it on either Apple iTunes, uh, Spotify, and Amazon Music. It's those places. So um, I'm old. I don't know how to add it to any more places. If there's another thing, let me know. Anyway, uh, I'm going to do a little uh, bit of an intro before we get into the review of Roller Dome. To be perfectly clear, I haven't finished Roller Drome. I just played it and really love it. So from what I can re read, uh, Roll7 uh, was founded in 2008 in London, England. Hopefully that's right. Uh, and they went fully remote in 2015, which is pretty great. Now, there was a recent news story that Take-Two, their parent company, and I think they were under private division. I don't really know how that works. Publishing, maybe, parent company. Take-Two obviously uh, publishes Grand Theft Auto, makes a lot of money, and they announced that recently they would be shuttering Roll7 and uh, the developers of the Kerbal Space Program games. Um, I want to say it's interactive entertainment, but that's probably wrong. I am kind of sad because I am, I am in Washington State, and I heard the Kerbal Space Program developers uh, are in Washington, and their studio will be closed, which sucks. But we're here to talk about Roll7. Now, there's been some discrepancy online whether or not Roll7 has actually been shut down. Apparently, this uh, CEO of Take Two was like, "No, not really. We, we, you know, we're just considering it." But I mean, here's the thing. I I don't think that this is going to be like clutch from the jaws of, um, you know, the the defeat or you know, um, what how what is that old phrase? The, um, you know, success is not going to be clutch from the jaws of defeat. I think. They're closed. It seems like it's a pretty small team. I didn't actually get the number on their website, but I just want to talk about Roller Drome. Again, I haven't finished it, but that's pretty much what I know about the studio. They've also released games like Ali Ali World and, well, Ali Ali and Ali Ali 2 and Ali Ali World. So a lot of skateboarding games critically acclaimed all over the map. They won a BAFTA for uh, Roller Drome, um, if my information is correct. And, um, you know, Roller Drome is a great game, so let's talk about it. Hey, yeah, so this is Roller Drome. This is my footage I captured on PS5. Uh, so, yeah, you're looking at me getting my butt beat at Roller Drome. And what you can see from the style is it's it reminds me of the James Caan movie from the 1970s. I want to say it was called Rollerball. I probably should have looked that up. You know, if I was very professional at this and really good at what I did, probably, um, you know, would have been able to see, I would have been able to do a trick right there. Anyway, you can see this style, you know, it's it's very like 70s kind of futuristic. There's a side story, which um, is part of this uh, footage. I don't know if I'm going to include it in my review, but like there's these interstitials when you're in the locker room, um, or in like a recording studio talking about the company. I want to say it's INF or IRF, which is, you know, putting these games on. They want to make them better for everybody. They want to make everybody, uh, you know, watch the games. Um, and there's like, you know, some cor corporate uh, espionage here going on, which is pretty neat. Um, you know, if you saw in the beginning of this footage, there's like these challenges you do in each one of these levels. And I like the way the levels are designed, where you start out at like the opens, then you get to the the quarterfinals, then the semifinals, then the finals. And each one of those requires you, there's usually 10 challenges in each map. And each one of those challenges, uh, the more and more of those you beat, it unlocks the other tier. So if you're bad at this, like I was, um, I had to play a couple levels a few times. But I actually recommend that if you're playing the game, because... Just play the level as it were, what, as it is, and don't worry yourself with getting every single challenge. You know, look at them obviously when you before you play, but like, uh, you know, just kind of, uh, you know, get the lay of the land as it were, because you can retry these levels over and over again, which is pretty great. Uh, you'll probably see me fall off the side here pretty quick, but um, yeah, see, oh, there I went, I went offside. Oh, oh I came back. Anyway, um. And so what I did is, to get to the next tier, it'll say, like, unlock 
you know, 15 more challenges. Oh, there I fell off the side. Um, it, it'll say, like, unlock 15 challenges to get to the next quarterfinals or whatever. And some of those you may do just from, um, you just could do just from, um, you know, playing the game. But when you go back, you can really go, okay, I'm just going to focus on these two challenges then. And then by the time I was able to uh, do those challenges, I was able to um, really, again, focus on the things that I want to do. But, like, the tricks feel good just enough. Only a few buttons for an old man like me to input into the game. The style, as you can see, is pretty amazing. And it's just, you know, they want a BAFTA for this. And take two is looking at a spreadsheet going, I don't know, as we say with a lot of these things, the stock line is not going up enough. So we need to cut costs, but we, you know, we, we can't keep these videos going. And that is heartbreaking. These people worked so hard on this. And I, it's, it's just so crazy to me that games like this can just exist. We'll, we get games like this and then it's like, well, really it's, this is hard, so we can't keep it going. But everybody that played this, I know when it came out, which I should, probably should give you the uh, release date. Let's see if I can find the release date for the game. Um, it came out. Oh, it just flashed away. Anyway. Um, oh, they don't want to tell you. Oh, it came out on August 16, 2022. It was on Steam, Xbox, and the PlayStation. Uh, probably couldn't run on Switch. Oh, yes, and right here. It won a 2023 BAFTA Awards Best British Game 2023 winner of MCV Developed Awards, Gameplay, Innovation of the Year, and then won a Spawny. So shout out to Cleef Adams. It won a Spawny for the best sports game in 2023. So those things, uh, you know, it's amazing. And this is the kind of stuff that Take-Two is like, yeah. I mean, we have GTA, and that makes us way more money. The line goes up faster on GTA than it does something like this. And it's just completely heartbreaking that, you know, these people, you know, people from all about... Uh, the studio can, um, you know, work so hard on this. And then uh, they got their friends and partners. I'm trying to think. It doesn't say how many. I can't think. It, it doesn't say how many people. Um, they also are fully remote. So I guess it doesn't matter where you live. You could work for the company. Uh, because it's in this weird limbo, I actually don't know what's going to happen to, uh, you know, to them. I hope. Everyone lands on their feet. I've said this again with my review of Hi-Fi Rush. I'm so sorry to everybody that developed this game, but I just want to personally say this game is great, and I'm terrible at it. I had to go back and try to do challenges to try to, you know, get the next tier unlocked, but it was so gratifying when that happened. I'm going to get, continue to do that with, you know, the next round and the next round, and I'll give you guys an update on the channel, you know, the more and more I play the game. And, but I just want to say it's on Game Pass right now, it's also, I believe, on the PlayStation Plus extra tier. And it, uh, you know, so it's a very low cost. I don't know how much it is on Steam, but check it out in those places and please play Roller Drum. Um, you know, I think, I know, I lament again. I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much, Roll7. This is a great game. I'm sorry that this happened to the team. I hope everybody there lands on their feet, uh, you know, has something successful more to share. Maybe we'll read a new news story in a year that some of these people have moved on. And again, this is all kind of in limbo, but, you know, even when this kind of news comes out, you don't want to hear anybody in limbo. You don't want to hear any of the stuff happening. So with that, I will say goodbye this week, and I will talk to everybody again next week.